seen here is the multi-layer fluid column consisting of eight fluids and nine different object types submerged between the layers. From bottom to top, honey, corn syrup, maple syrup, milk, dish soap, water, vegetable oil, and rubbing alcohol were added and given a short amount of time to settle. Next, the objects were added to the fluids. The fluid property behind this phenomenon is Archimedes' principle, which states that the buoyant force exerted on a body immersed in a fluid is equal to the weight of the fluid that the body displaces. For example, the plastic bottle cap, which rests above the water layer and is submerged in vegetable oil, displaces a certain volume of oil. If this displaced volume was multiplied by the gravitational acceleration and vegetable oil's density, one could find the buoyant force for that particular cap. Now, we will focus on one distinct area, the wooden block submerged between layers of vegetable oil and rubbing alcohol. As seen in the picture, the wooden block has sunk to the bottom of the rubbing alcohol layer and is floating on top of the vegetable oil layer. By following a procedure outlined in Denever's example 2.12, the percentage of the block below the two liquid interface can be determined. The book example is shown in the left half of the picture. This example deals with a wooden block that is floating between a gas-water interface. Because the weight of the wood is equal to the buoyant force, it can be set equal to the weight of the two displaced fluid volumes. By using a force balance, the percentage of the block in the water is found to be 85.7%. The same reasoning can be followed in our experiment, which is shown on the right side of the picture. It was found that 30.56% of our wooden block was submerged below the interface. This makes sense from both a properties and visual standpoint. The picture shows that about a third of the block is submerged, and the density values for each of the system elements help to make sense of our findings. Because the density of the wood is greater than the density of the rubbing alcohol, it will sink to the bottom of that layer, but it will float on top of the vegetable oil layer because the oil has a higher density. The graphs and tables seen here were created by analyzing five separate trials using the Logger Pro Photo Distance tool to measure the percent of the block submerged. The graph to the right shows this percent submerged against time spent in solution. It can clearly be seen that increased time in solution led to block saturation, increasing the density of the block and therefore the volume submerged. The first four trials fall within 7% error of our theoretical value, which shows the accuracy of not only the theoretical calculations, but also the experimental values.